Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you being here. All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove bloatware and other programs or apps from your desktop computer. This is good for Windows 10 and 11, um, and it is called the O&O App Buster from O&O Software. Link is down in the description below, and I will have to let you know this is not a sponsored video. Just a cool little piece of software that I happened to stumble on, and I liked it. So I decided to show you guys. So once you go to the website down there, the cool thing about this is once you download it, uh, I'm just going to throw it on my desktop here, you don't actually have to install it. Um, now, if you download it and you want to read a little bit about this, like I said, it uh, is Windows 10 and 11 compatible. Uh, you scroll down, it does some little explaining of what it does. Shows the interface here, which I will be showing you a little bit about here. But at your free time, go ahead and go through that site. Take a look at what it has to offer. All right, I'm going to go ahead and run this. And again, there's no installation required. It is like a portable version right out of the box. So right out of the bat, you see the interface and it's actually pretty cool. It's it's actually not a difficult interface. It's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. So let me just maximize that a little bit. All right, so let's just start up here. If we go up here to file, the only thing you have is exit. You got some different actions here. Um, about selecting all uh, Windows apps, desktop apps, hidden apps, stuff like that. Um, you can also create a system restore point, and they actually do recommend that you do that because if you accidentally uninstall something uh, that you didn't want to install, you can actually run the restore and get that back. Um, they recommend that. I probably won't do it when I go through here to show you guys how this works, um, but that's just me. Um, then we got the view, and you got little different things in here um, about showing the system apps and stuff like that. But this is what I like. You go to the view mode, you have uh, different options in here. Uh, so you got the light or the dark. I happen to like the dark, so I'm going to switch it to that. And uh, you can change your language in there. And then your help is your basic, you know, about stuff and your guide and stuff like that. Check that out. It's pretty detailed. Um, and you can check for a update as well. Now over here, if there's a specific piece of software or an application or program that you want to download, um, you can search it by name. Uh, so that's a pretty nice little feature. Uh, but let's take a look at these other tabs here. So the All tab will show literally everything installed in your system. And so you can kind of scroll through here and find what you're looking for. Now this, this right here will give you a description of what the tab you're in as well. So this desktop shows that desktop apps are the classic Windows apps that are installed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so on top of anything that I've installed here, you can go down and take a look at this stuff too. Um, it's got driver packages, stuff like that, just basic stuff. I've cleaned this up in the past, so there's really not a lot in there. Uh, but then this is where I like this, the Windows tab. Now. A lot of people don't use a lot of this garbage that comes with Windows 10 and 11. Uh, for instance, like I know a lot of people use OneDrive. I don't. Um, so you can uninstall that from the Windows install. But if we keep going down here too, it's pretty convenient because there's a lot of things here people don't use. Like a lot, some people use the snipping tool. Um, I'm one of those, so I will leave it there. But this is what I'm liking here. Um, you can get rid of like the Windows calculator, the camera, the Windows clock, um, and so on and so forth. All this stuff down here that seems to be bloatware. I mean, who needs Xbox stuff on their PC? I don't. Um, so that is what I'm going to uninstall just to demonstrate. I'm only going to do one just to save time. Uh, but all you do is click on that. And then you go here to remove. And it's going to ask you, do you want to remove it for the current user or all users on the computer? Um, and then you have the apps, which is kind of the same. That's what we remove for all users. Um, so I think these two are the same here. But um, I'm just going to remove it for, let's just say, all users. And then when I hit yes, it's going to ask you to recreate a restore point. Um, again, they recommend it. 
Um, I recommend that you follow their recommendations. Um, I'm not going to because I'm rebellious like that. And so I'm going to hit no. And then it will go through its uninstallation and it will tell you when it's done. And then once it refreshes here, you will see we have one less Xbox um, entry here. So, yeah, guys, it's good for that kind of stuff. Um, one thing that it does not do, like uh, I've done a video on Revo Uninstaller, it will not go into like the registry and grab uh, registry entries and uh, file structure entries. Um, it, it will just simply do the install, simple in, uninstall on software. But anyway, guys, that is it. Again, O and O App Buster link is down in the description below. Not a sponsored video, uh, but it is a cool little tool to have to uh, put in your little toolbox there. So, guys, if this helped you out, click that like button down there and think about subscribing. Thanks, guys.